Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to clarify a few things from my last video on the hydroxyl group and we're going to look at a few examples as well. Let's get started. So on Monday, I left off on this hydroxyl group and I was showing you how important it is because it allows molecules to gain partial and full charges so that they can react with one another. Now something that I forgot to mention was about its real life applications. Molecules that have hydroxyl groups within them are called alcohols. Some chemicals you may have heard about such as cholesterol are actually alcohols. You can tell because they usually end with OL. Something interesting is that the most common alcohol that people usually refer to is called ethanol. It's the chemical that's found in alcoholic beverages. Let's take a look. Ethanol is very closely related to ethane, which we'll be talking about in a future video. Now, ethane has the molecular formula C2H6. Okay, so this is what ethane looks like. It's a hydrophobic molecule because it's composed entirely of these CH bonds right here that you can see, as well as this carbon-carbon bond, but both of these are nonpolar. Like I mentioned in the last video, hydroxyl groups introduce partial charges to a molecule because of the polar bond between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. So ethanol basically takes this hydrogen atom up here and it replaces it with a hydroxyl group like this. Now we have a molecule that can form bonds with other polar molecules such as water. As a matter of fact, this hydroxyl group makes such a big difference that it makes ethanol soluble in water to an extreme amount. So hopefully this video helped you identify some common alcohols like cholesterol and ethanol, as well as understand how important hydroxyl groups are in chemical bonding. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.